Good morning, folks. We've got some incredible stories to hit today, including rare geophysical and galactic phenomena. Also seen a number of solar flares on the sun. So let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star at spaceweathernews.com. And for most of the last day, we could see only crackling in 193 angstroms. Minor pops, no associated CMEs, then limb pops that did produce CMEs aimed away from Earth. There were two M-class solar flares yesterday, and you can watch them as little flashes from the bright northern active region. That's if you can pull your eyes from the filaments and ejecta coming off the limbs. All is quiet in the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions, so let's go to the story of an asteroid they spotted before it entered the atmosphere. Folks, this is why I don't put a ton of focus on near-Earth asteroid programs. Fireballs are seen every day. Dozens of small meteorites streak across the sky regularly. Most people don't see them due to sunlight or they're being out over the oceans or the polar regions. This is only the fifth one they ever spotted before it hit the atmosphere. 99.999% of fireballs are not seen beforehand. Up next, it's the Global Climate Report and get ready. Here's the map they send around the internet and here's the better way to view the data. When they use qualitative coloring, it whitewashes the map and looks like there's mostly red with only tiny patches of blue. Reality is a much different situation. It is a climate science fraud to compare modern times to the natural variability minimum in the 1800s. Instead, it's much better to focus on the latest trends such that any shift in climate change away from warming can be noticed. Then again, maybe that's the point. Speaking of climate shifts, weirdness in the ENSO. La Nina refuses to go away and may in fact produce a rare triple event of La Nina. Most La Ninas would have dissipated back into neutral or even El Nino conditions by now, but it's not happening. Last but not least, we come to active galactic nuclei and find something never seen before. While we focus on the galactic magnetic field reversal in the current sheet of the midplane, Several NASA scientists and top astronomers across the world have determined that galaxies can actually have full system magnetic reversals too. Just like we see with the current sheet solar wind magnetic reversal every 5 to 10 days but where the sun itself reverses its full system magnetic field every 11 years, what we're talking about here is not the galactic current sheet but a nuclear magnetic flux inversion event or magnetic reversal. North becomes south. Field flows reverse, supreme flare event in the middle of the shift. Folks, there is nothing about the galactic magnetic system we study that isn't scaled up from the sun, other stars, and magnetic systems in general. Now, if I can just sneak this into the latest book update, that'd be awesome. You should be able to pre-order the book or get the PDF within about a week or two. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.